guys! Today I decided to create this dark green smoky eye. Green happens to be one of my favorite colors so I really enjoyed creating this look. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I did it then please keep watching. I'm just going to start by priming my face and I'm just applying this to the center of my face where I get most oily. I'm now just going to apply my MAC Face and Body Foundation and I'm going to apply that using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is a pretty sheer foundation, so if you want full coverage, you're going to have to really build it up. I'm not just going to conceal any redness on my face using my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I'm not going to conceal under my eyes just yet because I'm going to be using a lot of dark shadows and I don't want any fallout from the shadows to ruin my foundation and my concealer so I'm going to wait till afterwards. I'm just going to fill in my brows but I'm first going to sharpen up and define the bottom of them using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Caramel and I'm just going to use gentle strokes just to define the bottom of my brows. And the reason I'm not going to fill my brows in completely using this pencil is because I find that pencils can be a little too harsh sometimes and I can get a much more natural and softer effect using a powder instead. So I'm just going to use this matte brown eyeshadow and an angled brush and gently just fill in the rest. Now on to the eyes. I'm first going to prime them using Urban Decay's Primer Potion because my lids can get quite oily which then creases my eyeshadows so this will prevent that from happening. I'm first just going to apply a transition shade to my crease and I'm going to use Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to create a nice gradient of color and I'm going to have the darkest being on the lid and then going up to the lightest color as I get closer to the brow bone. And I want this to be really subtle and soft so I'm going to keep blending that out. I'm now going to apply a black eyeliner all over my eyelids taking that up to my crease and it's going to help my um, eyeshadows appear a lot more vibrant. Now I'm not going to worry about being too neat with this because I am going to blend it out. And this isn't going to look pretty until the very end. I'm now going to blend out the edge of that black eyeliner. I'm just going to use a pencil brush. Now that I have the black all over my lids, I'm going to go in with a tapered blending brush and I'm going to use the color creme brulee and I'm just going to use that to blend over the edge once again. I'm now going to go in with the color Envy by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that using a flat shader brush. I'm 
I'm now just going to take a bit of mocha and I'm going to blend that just on the edge of NB here. And then taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to blend out some more. And now I want to brighten up that color a little bit by applying this green color by Urban Decay. It's called Kush. And it's quite a bit brighter than Envy. So I'm just going to pop this on the very center of the lids. I'm just going to blend out the very edge of that lighter color just so it blends in well with the darker green on the lid. I'm now going to line my upper lid using Maybelline's gel liner and an angled brush. I'm now just going to curl my eyelashes and then apply mascara. And I'm just applying my mascara to my top lashes for now. I'm just going to apply some false eyelashes. These ones are Pixie Luxe by House of Lashes. Now that the lashes are done and the top of the eyes are done, I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm now going to drag the color Envy underneath my eyes using a pencil brush. I'm just mixing these two shades here, Mocha and Creme Brulee to blend out Envy on my bottom lash line. I'm just going to line my waterline using a black eyeliner. And now I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone using the color white from the Lorac Pro palette. I'm just going to contour using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. For blush, I'll be using my NARS Deep Throat. I'm going to line my lips and fill them in using Soar Lip Liner by MAC. I'm just going to 
going to apply Retsina by Bite over top of that. And lastly, I'm just going to powder my face using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder, just to keep my foundation and my concealer in place and prevent it from creasing. So guys, that's it for this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!